What if the greatest diamond prospector on Earth doesn't wear a helmet or carry a pickaxe, but grows silently beneath your feet? In 2025, researchers uncovered something that might redefine mineral exploration forever. A humble fungus with the uncanny ability to detect diamond-bearing rock beneath the soil without ever breaking the ground. It started in the remote Canadian Shield, one of the oldest and most stable geological formations on Earth. Here, in the boreal forests above ancient volcanic pipes, a team from the University of British Columbia and the Geological Survey of Canada stumbled upon a curious biological anomaly. Patches of a fast-growing white fungus were colonizing kimberlite rich soils, specifically soils, weathered from ancient pipes that once ferried diamonds from the Earth's mantle to the surface. While most soil fungi avoid mineral-rich zones, this species not only tolerated them, it thrived. Lab analysis revealed the fungus was not a known species. Genetic sequencing placed it within the Aspergillus genus, but with substantial divergence in genes related to metal transport, oxidative stress, and volatile organic compounds biosynthesis. Researchers named it Aspergillus kimberlitis, a tribute to the unique mineral it seemed to favor. The first mystery was chemical. Why does this fungus grow preferentially on kimberlite? Kimberlite is rich in magnesium, chromium, potassium, and nickel elements not typically abundant in surface soils. And yet, Aspergillus kimberlitis grew on them at rates 2.6 times higher than it did on common substrates like granite or basalt. To understand how, scientists turned to its mycelium, the web-like hyphal network through which fungi extract nutrients. When cultured on powdered rock media, the mycelium of Aspergillus kimberlitis excreted unusually high levels of oxalic and citric acids. These organic acids are chelating agents. They break down minerals in the surrounding rock, solubilizing chromium, iron, and potassium ions, just like acids in industrial mining. Using advanced imaging techniques, such as scanning electron microscopy and synchrotron-based X-ray fluorescence, Researchers observed these ions being absorbed through transmembrane proteins. Once inside the fungal cells, the metals weren't toxic. Instead, they were compartmentalized inside vacuoles or incorporated into metal-rich pigment structures. In fact, the pigmentation of Aspergillus kimberlitis changes based on the specific ion composition of its environment. Under low chromium conditions, colonies are light gray. On nickel and chromium-rich kimberlite, they darken to deep blue-violet. But the most groundbreaking discovery came not from what the fungus absorbs, but what it emits. When in contact with kimberlite-derived substrates, Aspergillus kimberlitis released a distinct set of volatile organic compounds into the air. These compounds include sesquiterpenes and methylated benzene derivatives that had never before been associated with soil fungi. Gas chromatography mass spectrometry confirmed that the profile was consistent and reproducible, with at least seven compounds appearing exclusively when kimberlite minerals were present. This became the foundation for a new kind of sensor, fungal volatile organic compounds biosensing. Researchers embedded dormant spores of Aspergillus kimberlitis into small, biodegradable cellulose pads combined with minimal nutrients and colorimetric sensors. When placed into the soil and exposed to moisture, the spores germinate. If the fungus detects chemical cues from kimberlite minerals, it releases its unique fungal volatile organic. These gases trigger a reaction in a chemical strip that changes color often from white to purple within 48 hours. Field tests across known and blind kimberlite pipes in Canada, Russia, and Angola in early 2025 showed remarkable results. The fungal sensors correctly indicated kimberlite presence in 87% of cases, compared to 76% for traditional ground-penetrating radar and 62% for magnetic surveys. More impressive still, the sensors indicated the proximity of kimberlite by the intensity of the color change. That means they weren't just detecting presence, 
They were estimating depth and density based on gas diffusion and fungal stress biomarkers. One of the most intriguing biological mechanisms is how the fungus knows what to seek. Its genome shows a family of previously uncharacterized GPCR or G protein coupled receptor genes that seem to act as mineral sensors detecting ionic shifts and triggering metabolic pathways in response. This suggests that the fungus is actively scanning its environment at the molecular level rather than growing randomly. These discoveries prompted a flurry of interest from bioprospecting companies and sustainable mining initiatives. The Diamond Spore Project, launched in mid-2025, deployed fungal biosensors across unexplored territories in the Democratic Republic of Congo and the outback of Western Australia. In both regions, the sensors helped identify previously undetected kimberlite anomalies, now the focus of follow-up geological drilling. But this isn't just about finding diamonds. Fungi like Aspergillus kimberlitis open the door to a broader field of ecological geosensing. Imagine using fungi to detect buried lithium brines, cobalt seams, or even subsurface contamination like arsenic or lead. Already, researchers are working to genetically engineer the volatile organic compounds signature of this. Fungus to emit distinct gases for specific minerals, effectively turning it into a customizable geochemical biosensor and the environmental benefits are substantial. Traditional diamond mining can involve displacing entire ecosystems, generating massive waste piles, and consuming huge amounts of water. A fungal sensor patch, by contrast, leaves the land untouched. It biodegrades within weeks. It doesn't pollute. And it costs just a few dollars to deploy. This humble organism, born from ancient soils and evolved under volcanic pressure, now offers us a way to find hidden riches without harming the earth. Its network of hyphae moves silently through the dark, reading the chemical whispers of rock and metal. It doesn't need light. It doesn't need machines. It just knows. For centuries, humanity has looked upward for answers to the stars, to the heavens. But some of the most powerful tools for our future may be right beneath our feet. The fungus has been there all along, waiting, growing, pointing the way to treasures we never imagined it could find. And now that we're finally listening, it may lead us to a new, cleaner age of exploration guided not by brute force, but by biology.